Welcome to Michael Crabtree Through the Years. I shut my eyes, trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. Step away till you hear what I'm saying Sounds like thunder And the clouds are closing in You see, I know this But the last days in real life I've noticed Losing focus Breaking up from our life as we know it If someone had told me That I will take off What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Miles Darkest 24-7 production, and today we have Michael Crabtree through the years. Now, we're going to kick things off his redshirt freshman season at Texas Tech in NCAA 08. Now, anyways, he comes in at 86 overall, 90 speed, 88 catch, 86 route running, 80 catch in traffic, 86 spectacular catch, 94 juke move. His numbers for his freshman season look like this, 13 games played in, 134 receptions for 1,962 yards, averaging 14.6 yards per catch and 22 TDs. That got him first team Big 12, first team All-American, and of course he won the Blinnikoff Award for being the best receiver in the country. So he comes in and ends his way 09 at 96 overall with 94 speed, 96 catch, 97 route running, 99 catch in traffic, 99 spectacular catch, and a 94 juke move as well. When we look at his numbers for his sophomore season, they look like this. Played in 13 games, caught 97 passes for 1,165 yards, plus an incredible catch versus Texas. I was watching that game. I ain't gonna lie, I was rooting for Texas. He ripped my heart out, but it's okay. Anyways, man, he also averaged 12 yards per catch and 19 TDs as well. When we add up all of his overalls, divided by the games that we got, 91 overall. Because, of course, he spent two years in college, and he dipped to the NFL as a redshirt sophomore. So, anyways, man, he was on the cover of NCAA football 2010, and he was drafted by my favorite team, the 49ers, and he was the most talented, most talented receiver that we drafted since T.O. Most talented. Maybe not the best, but the most talented receiver that we bet that we drafted since T.O. And I was sad to see him go. Anyways, man, 84 overall, 88 speed, 88 catch, 84 route running, 87 catch in traffic, 95 spectacular catch, 88 for his juke move. Now, when we look at his rookie numbers, they look like this. He caught a grand total of 48 passes on 86 targets for 625 yards, two TDs, a long of 50, and of course, he did average about 50 yards, 56.8 yards to be exact, per game. Moving on to Madden 2011, where that overall drops just a little bit to 83 overall, but he still got 88 speed, still got 88 catch, 82 route running, 87 catch in traffic, 93 spectacular catch, 88 Juke moving, playing with the Niners online, man, it, it wasn't easy because we really didn't have too much speed in his 88 speed. It really didn't help that either. But if you could run the ball and pray, you had a chance online beating some people with the 49ers back in the day before they got really, really good. Anyways, man, his numbers look like this. He was targeted a grand total of 101 times, caught 55 passes for 741 yards, averaging 13.5 yards per catch, and he also got six TDs, a long of 60, and he averaged 46.3 yards per game. Madden 2012, he comes in at 81 overall. That overall continues to dip, but he still has 88 speed, still has 88 catch, still has a route running of 80, 84 catch in traffic, 92 spectacular catch, and an 88 juke move. So when we look at his numbers in real life, they look like this. He was targeted 115 times, caught 72 passes for 874 yards, averaging a grand total of 58.3 yards per game. He had four TDs, and he also had a long of 52. And then right there, Beast Arizona, like they stole something. What you doing? Got to cover crab sheet better than that, man. Little wheel route right here. And I was able to find him in the back of the, well, not in the back of the end zone, but right at the pylon with my man Alex Smith. Anyways, man, let's move on to Madden 2013 with Calvin Johnson on the cover. We got Crabtree at 83 overall, 88 speed, 88 catch, 84 route running, 82 catch in traffic, 91 spectacular catch, 88 juke moves. 
So once again, man, he is a, a okay receiver. Probably a number two when we look at his overalls. But hey, the Niners, you know, we really didn't have too many options outside of Vernon Davis when it came to the passing game. But anyways, man, as we look at his numbers in real life, they look like this. He was targeted 127 times. 85 catches for 1,105 yards, first time over 1,000 yards, averaging 13 yards per reception, 9 TDs, a long of 49, and he also averaged 69.1 yards per game. Next gen on the PS4. 90 overall for Michael Crabtree. In a matter of 13 with the update the roster, he was a flat out monster online. Flat out monster. Anyways, man, 88 speed, 91 catch, 93 route running, 92 catch in traffic, 89 spectacular catch, and an 88 juke move. And if you are wondering, all these are the day one, fresh out the box, overall, and attributes, okay? No updated rosters here. We just go based on what they did from one season to another to get their overalls or why their overalls were this way in Madden. Anyways, man, as we move on to Madden 15, 89 overall. 88 speed, 96 catch, 86 route running, 90 for that catch in traffic, 87 spectacular catch, and then an 87 juke move. Not too shabby for Michael Crabtree. Anyways, man, when we look at his numbers, they look like this. He was targeted 108 times for 68 receptions, 698 yards receiving, averaging 10.3 yards per catch, 4 TDs along with 51, and he also averaged 43.6 yards per game. The year before that, he only played in five games due to injury. He caught a grand total of 19 passes on 33 targets of 248 yards and one TD. So that's why the overall dipped just a little bit, but the overall would dip just a little bit more, even though I think I thought his numbers weren't they, they weren't spectacular, but he goes from an 89 to an 82, so still in the 80s. But anyways, man, 82 overall, 84 speed, 87 catch, 75 route running, 70, 87 for that catch in traffic, 83 spectacular catch, and a juke move of 86. So now he's an Oakland Raider, him, Carr, and now you've got, who, who was that? They got Cook now. I mean... The Raiders offense is pretty, 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 pretty impressive if you had to ask me, especially with Amari Cooper on the other side, man. But anyways, his first year as a Raider, his numbers look like this. He was targeted 146 times for 85 receptions, 922 receptions on average, excuse me, 10 point yards per catch, 9 TDs, a long of 38, and average a grand total of 57.6 yards per game. I mean... With Cooper on one side and him and Carr, and now you got Beast Mode. I mean, the Raiders, they look dangerous offensively. Madden 17, 83 overall, 88 speed, 84 catch, 86 route running, 87 catch and traffic. Prime times dance right there. Also comes in with an 86 spectacular catch, 87 droop move as well. He played in all 16 games, was targeted 145 times. I mean, the Raiders just love the pass. My goodness. Caught 89 passes for 1,003 yards, only his second time in his career over 1,000 yards. He also caught a grand total of 8 TDs, averaging 11.3 yards per catch and 62.7 yards per game. When we add up all his overalls and divide it by the number of games that we got, we get a grand total of 84.3 overall. So Michael Crabtree, I expect him to have a pretty good year this upcoming year. I expect the Raiders as a whole have a pretty good good year. The Chargers, they look like they're kind of on the rise a little bit. Philip Rivers is getting older, but that defense with Bosa, that defense should be, you know, even better than what they were last year, but being in LA in like a hockey stadium, not a hockey stadium, but you know what I mean, a small football stadium, I don't know how that's going to work. Kansas City should still be pretty solid. Denver, they got some question marks at quarterback, but they should still be solid, but the Raiders, they should run away with this, this, this division in my opinion. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Until next time, peace.